Yo, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy, Lofi here. I hope you guys are all having a great day, alright? I woke up this morning, had to change out my air filter for my air conditioner, and I didn't know what I was doing, okay? And I accidentally left the air conditioner on, and I was trying to take it out, and you know, it didn't go too well. I ended up getting sucked inside of my air conditioner, transported into Space Narnia, and fighting aliens. And after I had finally toppled the alien regime and set the people free, one of their leaders had sent me this video right as I was being transported back home. Black Grandma's Try Other Black Grandma's Sweet Potato Pie. Presented again by our favorite internet company, Company, BuzzFeed. Now, I made a video on something similar to this like a year ago. I think two videos actually with like the moms and the fried chicken and the dads and the barbecue. And then I came across this one and I was like, you know what? Third time's a charm. Can't go wrong with this one. I watched through some of this video already and like, Jesus Christ, these grandmas roast the ever loving crap out of each other. These grandmas are literally the most savage grandmas I've ever seen in my entire life. But yeah, before we get into that, if you guys could drop a fat like on this video and subscribe if you're new, I would really appreciate that. Also, a quick disclaimer um, it's just a joke, okay? Everything in this video is a joke. So so please take it with a grain of salt. And yeah, just enjoy the video, broski. So let's get right into this. Getting sick of constant negativity, searching for some clarity. Try to switch my mind around, reversing the polarity, and scuttle through the undertow. Not trying to be funny, but whoever made this, honey, you need your grandma card snatched back. You're not a grandma. Damn, two seconds into the video and already grandma's getting their grandma cards revoked, all right? Just getting absolutely toasted over what? Some pie? Like, was the pie that bad? Like, I know, like, you know, some pies can be absolutely horrible, okay? Key lime pie? Disgusting, all right? I hate it. But, bro, sweet potato pie is kind of hard to mess up, especially when it literally just tastes like pumpkin pie. As long as you make it taste like that, then, you know, you're good. You're Gucci. But if you're messing that up, if it tastes that horrible, then Jesus Christ, man, you just need to stop baking. Hi, my name is Cassandra Fleming and I was born and raised in Harlem. My name is Mimi Sullivan, and I am from Newark, New Jersey. Mimi's secret sauce. What? what? Since when do you put sauce on pie, dude? I get you put whipped cream on pie, okay? That's normal. That's average. You Since when do you put any type of sauce on a pie that isn't a chocolate pie, okay? Maybe like chocolate syrup, you know, okay? I can get that. What type of secret sauce is this? Is some weird brown stuff in a bottle that looks like diarrhea. Look, Mimi, no offense. I guarantee you that your pie is probably really, really good, okay? All right? But don't put that sauce anywhere near me, okay? I don't trust it. I don't trust any secret sauce. If I can't read read the ingredients on the back like a shampoo bottle, then it's not going anywhere near my mouth. Hi, my name is Sandra Livingston. I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky, you know, the home of Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders. Yeah, I don't know why she's flexing that because KFC is literal garbage, okay? I don't like KFC. The first time I ever had KFC when I first moved to Texas after a couple years, all right, I was in first grade and, you know, we had eaten some KFC that Saturday and we got up for church that next morning. I hopped up in the car and I threw up everywhere because it was too goddamn greasy. I don't like fried chicken, okay? It's greasy. It's like extremely unhealthy for you, okay? I get it. Oh, this is America. I can do what I want. Yeah, okay. You have fun with your diabetes and heart attacks, all right? I'm gonna be chilling. I've been baking sweet potato pies ever since I was about, I don't know, 20 years old, maybe. I think I was around 25 years old. Dang, since you were 25, what was that? Like a thousand years ago? Were you baking sweet potato pies with Jesus? Pulled up to the Passover like, hey, yo, Jesus, I got the pie. What's good? Also, I meant to say this earlier, but um, I'm black. So for that one guy that's going to be like, oh, you can't make a joke about these black grandmas. You know what's going on? Black Lives Matter. I'm going to cancel. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. You can't cancel a black guy for making a black joke, dude. That's not how it works. I started making sweet potato pies as a teenager. Um when something happened if somebody was having something because uh maybe somebody was having a birthday party or maybe somebody was having a cookout I started bringing sweet potato pie. Yeah, at every cookout, barbecue, family event, okay, the black grandmas will always pull up with the sweet potato pie, dude. Every time I was, like, chilling with the black side of my family, because, you know, I'm mixed, I, we'd always, every time I'd go there, bro, there would be, like, five different grandmas pulling up with their sweet potato pies, arguing over who's the best, literally, like, in this video. But also, none of the grandmas would ever even look like grandmas, because black don't crack, bro. We stay looking 25 forever. Are you ready to try other grandmas with Absolutely. I can't wait. Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for, bro. These grandmas finna go off. They're finna be completely just savage and just tear each other apart like it's the goddamn Hunger Games. Like, dude, being 100% real, like, old people being mean to each other is the funniest thing because they're, like, either super blunt or super passive-aggressive, but either way, it's hilarious. Of course I'm ready to try other people's sweet potato pie. Let's put this thing to rest and deem mine is the best. Oh, dude, Granny got some rhyming skills. Okay, she's out here rapping, spitting bars. She's 100% better than Eminem. Look, dude, long live job, but bro, Granny out here spitting bars.
Now, this pot might be a little competition. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It looks like it has some weird coconut flakes looking on. Okay, it looks like somebody busted a fat nut all over this pie and let it dry, dude. That pie does not look very good to me. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting or something, but it literally just... I'm, I'm just saying it how it is, bro. This pie looks like somebody busted a fat nut all over it, all right? I would not eat that. It's great. You know what? I'm sorry. It's good. So you got to get the seasoning right when you make a sweet potato pie. Yeah, that's right. You got to make sure you put the salt and pepper and the uh, the, the parsley flakes inside of the batter when you make the pie. And then you, um, yeah, I actually have no idea how you bake a pie. Um, the most I can do is put a hot pocket in the microwave. So, yeah. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I don't taste anything. I don't taste sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, milk, nothing. Nothing at all. It's just bland. Shots fired. Shots fired! She said, the sugar, whack. The flavor, bland. The way that there's not even any milk in here, disgusting. Like, bro, she's going ham on this grandma's pie. I like how the other two were like, yeah, you know, this is pretty good. This is pretty, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, not as good as mine. And she comes in, it's like, yeah, this is absolute shit, okay? Whoever made this pie, f*** you. F*** your family. F*** your pie. Yeah, it was just too bland for me, okay? Go back to the kitchen. It doesn't really taste like sweet potato to me, though. But it is good, like a, a, a mixture of, it's like a pumpkin with a little bit of sweet potato thrown in. That's what it tastes like to me. Okay, I'm about to say something really controversial here, but pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie taste exactly the same. Okay, that's not even controversial, it's just a fact. One time I was eating a bunch of sweet potato pie and I thought it was pumpkin pie. And my grandma was like, how you liking the sweet potato pie? And I was like, I thought it was pumpkin pie. And she got kind of mad at me because she was like, I spent all this time making this pie just for you to give. It's like, yeah, well, it tastes the same. It's not my fault that when if you bake it into a pie, it tastes exactly like another type of pie. Like, dude, I'm not the one who made physics it's not my fault that when you bake something it tastes exactly like something else like that's your fault you sure this is a pumpkin she might have did some fraudulent stuff this tastes like pan labelle's pop <laughs> Bro, already they add the fraud accusations because, oh, this is, this can't be sweet potato pie, okay? It tastes a little bit too much like pumpkin, okay? I don't know what they did, but they cheated, okay? They f***ing cheated! Okay, I can already tell. You know what? It's, it's like some people making some real stingy pies around here. Look at this. It's, it's just a, it's a, it's a little flat piece. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. That pie looks pathetic, dude. It's not thick. It's not voluptuous, okay? If that pie was an anime girl, all right, I wouldn't smash. Not waifu material at all. Okay, this pie is garbage. Like, when I eat a pie, I want a thick slice, okay? I don't want some little thin crust pizza looking motherfucker. <gasps> a slice of pie is like titties on an anime waifu, okay? You're either going for a loli or you're going for Rhea's Grimmery, okay? Which is it gonna be, my dude? Choose wisely. This is a sweet potato pie. This is a grandmother. Still, I don't taste that sweetness. I just don't taste the, sh the sweetness. I swear to God, this one grandma in particular is like, if it doesn't have a pound of sugar in it, then I can't eat it, okay? If you don't just dump diabetes into your pie, then it just doesn't taste good. Which, I don't understand that, okay? Maybe because I'm getting a little bit older and I just can't handle as much sugar, all right? But I just don't want a pound of sugar in literally everything that I eat, okay? I don't want to pick up uh, pick up a Snickers bar, open it up, and just be doused in sugar, dude. Like, no. It's just like, you're not supposed to put insane amounts of sugar in everything. That's how people get diabetes. You know, there's a joke to be made here about the amount of sugar that black people put in Kool-Aid, but I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I do that too. I, I I don't know what it is, bro. But just there's not there's never enough sugar you can put in Kool Aid, bro. That's just that's the one exception. Not bad. You're flat, but you taste pretty good. Uh yeah, nine one one. I'd like to report a crime. Um. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She said you're flat, but you taste pretty good. Okay. I don't know exactly what was going on, but the next thing I heard was screaming. So uh yeah. The address is uh one two three. Your pie is ass. It's plain. I rate this, in all honesty, I give this a two. I'd rate this one probably about a seven. A scale of one to ten, I'd give it an eight. Bro, who does that one grandma think she is? Freaking Gordon Ramsay just calling everybody else's pies absolute shit. At least some of them are honest. Like, yeah, you know, this was wrong, that was wrong. Could've done a little bit better here. But she's just like, yeah, no, not enough nutmeg. Okay, no sugar, no sugar at all. Okay, what is it with this sugar-free pie? Like, dude, chill chill out. We get it. I understand that you're the type of person to put maple syrup on your spaghetti, but you need to chill out, okay? Not every pie is supposed to taste like cotton candy. For me... It's not sweet enough. 
I don't taste all those sugars and the cinnamons and Honestly, I am so tired of hearing this from this grandma, dude. Okay, nobody cares, alright? Uh, it's not sweet enough. It's not sweet enough. Okay, then what is sweet enough? What is sweet enough for you? Do you literally just like grab a bag of sugar and just eat out of it by the spoonful like a bowl of cereal? How much you want to bet whenever she gets a bowl of frosted flakes, she adds more frost to the flakes because apparently it's not frosty enough. Yeah, if you made it this far into the video, comment down below your favorite cereal and uh, I'll give it a heart or something, okay? I'm just saying honey bunches of oats, best cereal, best cereal of all time. Uh-oh. Nope. I don't know. It's got some interesting little characteristics kind of popping up in there, but uh, it would be a little better if it wasn't so dry. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I agree with her, bro. If I eat a pie that's dry, I just can't have it, bro. That pie's gotta be juicy. It's gotta be moist. Look, dude, if your family invites me over to some cookout or something, you got some dry-ass pie, I'm just gonna leave, okay? If that pie isn't moist to the touch, then I'm just gonna leave, okay? Don't hand me no dry-ass pie. I can't say that I really love it. Um, I've tasted better. Um, Yo, look, I gotta give it to him. At least this pie was thick, all right, okay? I'm not trying to have, like, a really sweet pie in tiny condensed pieces. Like, dude, that's a little bit too much for me, not gonna lie. But yeah, bro, shout out to this grandma for being so thick. I mean, I mean, for having a, th for having a thick pie. I I'm just gonna leave this in. I don't care. No. Are these people from the South? The south of what? Jersey? God dang, bro, denying the entire southern part of their culture and heritage. Ooh, that's harsh. Look, as somebody from the south and currently who still lives in the south and grew up in the south, okay, we pride ourselves in our food, especially when it comes to our soul food and our barbecue and our pies and just all of our cooking in general. Especially as a black person in the south, okay, at family gatherings, it's what we flex at each other, okay? It's not, yo, bro, look at my newest car, it's bro, look at my barbecue, bro, look at my pie, bro, it's banging. All right, finally, last but not least, the grandma who's been talking the most smack this entire video is finally about to get destroyed. Honestly, bro, I can't wait for her to get ripped apart, ripped to shreds by all these other grandmas, bro. She's been talking the most smack throughout this entire video about literally everybody else's pies. Her pie better be top tier for her to be talking all this smack. If it's not, then ooh, I'm gonna watch with my bowl of popcorn and a smile on my face. Now, just from the look of this pie, this pie looks like my mother's pie. And it tastes like my mother's pie. <laughs> I don't like my mother's pie. Okay, you know, this was just one grandma. All right, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, she could be wrong, all right? You know, one person's taste doesn't dictate everybody's taste, you know? This could be really, really good. <laughs> this looks, um, interesting. Bro, she's getting absolutely clowned right now. I can't. <laughs> what goes around comes around, I guess, all right? You dish it out. Now you get ready to take it in, granny. No. Where I come from, I was taught, if you don't have anything good to say, you don't say anything at all. Ooh, yo, you know when the grandmas don't even want to say anything, that's got to be bad. Because usually, okay, from what I've learned, grandmas will come out and, like, you know, they will correct you, okay? When they feel like you're wrong, they will just say it, okay, for the betterment of you and you as a person. But, bro, she had nothing constructive to say, all right? She was just thinking in her head some stuff that I probably can't even say in this video. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. The meanest grandma gets absolutely roasted and toasted by the rest of the grandmas because her pie was literally the worst when she was talking smack about everybody else's. Which, when you think about it, is actually pretty funny and also insanely ironic. Like, yeah, if you gotta talk the most smack, usually you're the one who's the most garbage at whatever it is. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And make sure to turn notifications on, because YouTube be on some whack stuff, and I'm currently uploading every single day. Also, join my Discord server, link in the description, you know I'd be in there sometimes. If you just wanna pop in and say hi, you know that'd be cool. Anyways, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, my dudes.